Hi all, I am going to highlight a 10 powerful power pump shortcut which help us to enhance the power pump presentations while delivering the classes in online mode. The first shortcut which I am going to be highlight now change the pointer to laser point. While delivering the classes in the real classrooms, we are using some kind of pointer to specify the point. But in the context of virtual classrooms or virtual presentation, we need to be highlight some important point with the use of laser pointer. For this, the shortcut is Control L. We have to press Control parallel along L in the keyboard. So now I'm going to press Control L. Now see here, immediately you may get this kind of laser points for this laser point it may helping you to highlight some important points now i am highlighting the laser point options i am highlighting the pointer i am highlighting the change word so in this manner we can use the laser point options while delivering a classes so for this the control l is a shortcut the second shortcut now i'm already connected with the laser point suppose i want to convert the laser point to normal cursor mode or arrow mode for this, the shortcut is control a now see here now you are seeing my laser point view laser point only now i'm going to be convert the laser pointer into arrow mark or a cursor mode control a so once i click the control a you are seeing the arrow buttons so this is the way we can shift the laser point to the arrow I move to the third shortcut how to change the pointer to pen while delivering the lecture through the online mode we need to be write something in the whiteboard or a blackboard but in the context of powerpoint there is a pen options we can write it directly with the pen option the slide itself for this the shortcut is control p you can press control and p together then you may get the pointer option see here I am getting small pointer option there I am writing like math you can write what are things you want to write you can write if you want to be rounded you can round it suppose you want to change the color of the pen you can go to the, the down helper menu the left side here you can find out the lot of pen colors which color you want you can select the pen color so the control P is a shortcut for change the pointer to pen this is the third shortcut which we discussed now the fourth shortcut uh, like a highlighter suppose while you're presenting you want to highlight some important points like when you like a bookmarking when you uh, read some important things in the books you know we are using some kind of highlighter to mark this thing the same manner in the powerpoint while delivering if you need to be highlight some important points we can use the highlighter options for that we have to go with shortcut ctrl i automatically that highlighter view comes now i'm highlighting the important points so this is way we can use the highlighter options now i move to the fifth shortcut change the pointer to eraser so we already knows the the shortcut for pen control p just i'm writing something and just draw something i'm just uh, making some kind of um, marking here suppose i want to erase this one for erasing these things we can go the down helper menu instead of that there is a shortcut control E. Once you give the control E, automatically the pen it may convert as a rubber. Now see here, this is an eraser may comes. There you can be erased which are things you don't need. So in this manner, we can change the pointer as the eraser. So control E is for shortcut for change the pointer to eraser. The next shortcut, show hide for the ink markup. So previously we are using only the eraser. Suppose I am writing a pen, I am going to select a pen, control P is a selecting pen. From there I am writing my name. Just I am draw something, I am drawing, I am making a square, I am making a triangle. So here I make it say four kinds of annotation I made. For erasing we can go with control E. But if you want to be hide the entire annotates, a single click control M. It's a shortcut. If you click Control M, it may hide. Once again, I want to open the same annotate which I made it previously. We can click once again Control M, then it may come. So I'm going to press Control M. Now it will be hide. Once again, I'm going to press Control M. Now it will be show the annotate. So this is way uh, we can show and hide the ink markup while delivering the online classes. The next important shortcut which I'm going to talk to you is view a task bar. So while presenting, suppose you want to know the time in the taskbar, otherwise you want to select some kind of uh, task menu or menu you want to select from the taskbar, uh, instead of uh, exit from the PowerPoint presentation, 
if you want to look on the taskbar we can go with the control t is a shortcut now i'm going to press control t see here immediately the taskbar may open if you want to uh, hide the taskbar you can keep the cursor in somewhere automatically may close so this way we can view the taskbar uh, with the use of control t the next shortcut which i'm going to talk to you is called blackboard while presenting if you want to open a blackboard screen or a blank screen for writing something you can go with small press of b so in the keyboard you can press b automatically the entire presentation may come as a black color screen now see here the black screen if you want to write you can use the pen and write it now i'm going back to the enter i'm going to click enter so this once again the screen may comes the same screen which you uh, showed previously the next shortcut previously we are talking about the blackboard only now how we can be change uh, the powerpoint presentation as a whiteboard for the shortcut we can use it uh, as a w we can press or hit during a presentation w then automatically the whiteboard may comes and i'm going to press w now the whiteboard came so in this manner we can use a blackboard or a whiteboard blackboard for the b is a shortcut for the whiteboard w we have to enter it so now i move to the last shortcut zoom in suppose uh, while presenting some font is very small in nature or some important image you want to be highlight or zoom in zoom out option option you want to use it for that normally we are going to this help menu only instead of that we can go with control plus plus symbol we can press parallel control along with plus so i'm going to press now so now see here the zoom in happened suppose you want to be zoom out so we can go with the control minus so it may uh, you can use the zoom in option control plus zoom out option you can use the control minus so these are the 10 shortcut which is very much need while you're delivering the online classes particularly in the virtual mode so i hope it may be very much useful for you to enhance your powerpoint presentations during the virtual classrooms thank you jay bharat we will meet in the next video bye